I am so excited to share with y'all today what you're going to learn in the IVF financial blueprint and how I can help you. I'm super passionate about this topic because Blake and I went through IVF the first time and paid $15,000 cash up front. And I'm a small business owner, he's a teacher, and it drained our savings account. And we had a failed IVF round. We got three embryos, transferred them all, and it didn't work. And we were left devastated and broke. And everyone was asking if we were going to try again. And it was almost more painful because we wanted to, but we couldn't afford it. And so over the next two years, my team and I worked together to put together a fundraising plan and we ended up raising over $30,000 for us to go through our second round of treatment at CCRM, which was double the cost um, from my first clinic. So how did we do that? We sold product online. I don't know if you've heard of the Give Grace campaign, but we put together a few messages that were important to me and my story, and we put them on a bunch of different products. My team paid for the production of those products, and we sold them, and the profit from those products went totally to our IVF fundraising account. Um, and so Blake and I did not have to pay one single dime for the second round of IVF, which brings me to tears when I think about it because my boys wouldn't be here otherwise. And we would not have been able to do the second round without fundraising. And here's some things that I learned. Um, fundraising does not have to look like asking for money. We did not ask for money. We provided product for um, the people that shopped with us. And two, fundraising does require sharing what you're walking through but you get to decide what you want to share and what you want to keep to yourself. Just because you share your story doesn't mean you have to share every little piece of it. Blake and I definitely have decided or decided years ago bits and pieces that we wanted to keep to ourselves. And we've never shared that information or that part of our story. As open as I am about our story, there are several parts of it that nobody knows but us and our family. So... It doesn't mean you have to put it all out there, but I also learned that people want to help. Your people want to help you, and when you put together a fundraising campaign that is inspired by your story, people are going to come alongside you and support you. You will also get to be featured um, on our Infertility Sisterhood website, and we will be pushing people there um, to support your journey, which is very exciting. So if you don't have a huge platform or a huge reach, do not stress out about that. We're going to help you get your fundraising campaign in front of people that want to help. Um, so these are the type of things that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to set up an online store, how to choose companies and products where you don't have to front any inventory up front. Inventory is so stressful financially. And so I want to show you exactly how to set up an online store and to sell product with no money up front or very, very little. Um, and also I am providing an artwork library for you to choose from that has messages in it that were meaningful to my story that people in the infertility sisterhood have shared that are meaningful to them um, and just help you pick artwork that will resonate with people. I think that's a huge part of it. Um, people, they, they will buy shirts that say Smalley's IVF journey, but they're not going to wear something like that. So I want to bring my expertise from six years of running a product-based business to help you pick products that people will actually use and that they can see bits and pieces of their story in yours and share. So Give Grace, it was about my story and it, it is about my story and my journey through IVF, but so many people jumped on board with this campaign and could resonate with that message 
and they had never walked through infertility. So um, the thing is, everyone goes through hard things and they can resonate with that. So I want to help you pick messages that will resonate with people that they can get behind. So I'm really, really excited. We are looking for 10 couples to join our beta group. And this week is the end of your chance to sign up and be a part of a beta group. So um, check my stories and swipe up to get on the list. Or you can click the link in my profile. But I can't wait to see you in the course. I'm so excited to be able to show you all these things.